Methodist gas prices have jumped by about four cents this week. They are still pretty low, but we all know how quickly that can change. And automakers aren't slowing down when it comes to building new hybrids along with electric cars. Soon we'll be seeing new models that can travel as much as 200 miles between charges. As Channel 2 Sarah Dante explains, these new cars will also be a lot more affordable. Eric Rowland is all about efficiency and sustainability, which is why he bought a hybrid vehicle years ago. At first, you know, I thought of electric cars as just being economical and sort of glorified golf carts. And uh, this one sort of certainly has gotten it out of that range. But now, Rowland has ditched his hybrid and gone all electric. His high performance Tesla is a six figure investment. He justified in part by noting the lower maintenance costs. With a pure electric car, you don't have oil changes, you don't have radiator flushes. Uh, you do have to check your brake pads, but the maintenance in the long run is also significantly reduced. And the savings get better when you factor in possible government tax credits that can add up to $7,500. When buying your electric or hybrid car, be sure to check with the dealer about local tax credits or federal tax credits that might be available for you. While many of us can't afford a luxury vehicle, both Tesla and Chevrolet are promising new electric vehicles in the $30,000 dollar range in the coming months. That's about the average price of a new gas-powered car, and these cars should double the range of most current alternative vehicles, which get about 80 to 100 miles in between chargings. Before you decide to pull the plug on your gas guzzler, make sure you have the right hardware at home. You want to make sure you have the proper outlet at your home or outside your garage so you can charge it. A lot of times people use a 120 volt outlet, but you really would want a 240 volt. It's going to take less time to charge your car. You'll also want to research public charging stations around town. The city of Houston has an electric vehicle website where you can search by address. We found some located in city parks, and several HEB stores have them in their parking lots. Roland says he hasn't changed his driving habits much. He just plans ahead for longer trips. At this point, I'd be really hard pressed to see going back to using a gas car. I just haven't, we haven't had any need. Your home electric bill is going to jump, but ask your utility provider if they have a discounted rate for off peak hours and then do the charging overnight. And don't forget about those tax credits. We put the IRS guidelines for alternative vehicle credits on our website. Click to Houston.com. Look under the consumer section. Sarah Donchi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.